there's just a really quick and easy way I want to show you which allows you to convert any chord progression you have into a melody line. So the way we're going to do this is we've got a chord progression here. Now each chord is exactly one bar in length. And I've added the MIDI effect, the arpeggiator, as a plugin onto our chord track. So without the arpeggiator on, we can hear normal chords. With the arpeggiator on, it takes all the notes in the chords and plays them back one at a time, like this. Now, depending on the rate that you have, it will play them back slower or quicker or even in a triplet fashion. Now, we're going to go with slow for the purposes of this tutorial. The next thing you've got to do, right click and insert a MIDI track. Now, you need this new MIDI track to receive information from the chord track. So where it says all ins, we've got to select the one grand piano because one grand piano is currently our chord track. We also need to arm it for recording, which means if we push the record button, this track will begin recording whatever is being fed into it, but none of the other tracks will. Then what we do is we have to set punch in and punch out markers. So we're going to highlight the section we need, we need to record, press Command L to set the loop cycle there. We're going to turn off the loop cycle, turn on punch in, turn on punch out. So it will only record in this section. Then we go from slightly before, we push the record button and it begins recording the MIDI that is being outputted from the chord track with the arpeggiator plugin on it. Now, on the chord track we can turn off the arpeggiator and we can go back to using it just for our chords. And we have a second MIDI track with the melody written on the MIDI clip. Now what we could do is we could go to sounds and we could choose any sound we want to perform this melody. So we'll go to synth lead. Let me just make sure it's not too loud when we preview those sounds. Let's go for this for now. And we'll play both together. And we got a very interesting, lovely melody simply by using the chord progression that we already had. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel as we're going to be uploading a lot more content regularly. And we'll see you on the next video. Take care.